All right, welcome to my stream. Finishing up the day, a green so far. Uh, so far, I did well today. Uh, let's see if I can uh, see my BNL. That's kind of how it is. Uh, so, 806 ECN fee commission, 400 bucks commission. Uh, I got I got killed in YMTX, and then I made it back. And uh, that's kind of how it is. So my first trade of the day was uh, YMTX. YMTX. I pretty much did not take profits. It chopped me out really big. I bought it here, 314, and instead of selling it, uh, I bought the high of the day break, which was 314 here. I had immediately a 10 cent gain, and uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't sell it. Uh, that is probably. Uh, and then I added. I added. I added it at, uh, I bought it to 214, added and added, and then I sold it to this pop over here at 209, and then flat. Then I relocked it at 214. Uh, so, so I, I did not trade it at all whatsoever. It was just, um, it was just, uh, I took two losses, multiple losses on it. And uh, my biggest loss was, you know, when I bought it at 214 and it flushed in this candle. So I lost 15 cents in this candle. Uh, I uh, pretty much sold it at two bucks, went short at 190, covered into right here 177. So that, so, so I shorted 190, covered 177. I made back 14 cents, and then I was long two. Uh, 214, and I got stopped out at two. Then we went short at 190. B between, I don't know if you can see all these trades, but they're somewhere here. Uh, so that was YMTX. That was the 600 bucks loss. Uh, and uh, I, I, uh, yeah, I messed up on that. I, I thought it's gonna squeeze over highs, over this range here. I thought it's gonna squeeze, and I was wrong. It actually did not uh, squeeze. And uh, I was wrong, and then I went short. The borrows are pretty expensive, so it was not a good strategy whatsoever, I would have to say. This is not a good strategy. Uh, uh, but most of my other stuff, most of my other plays, I, I, I went long Jibo. Jibo, I went long here. Uh, it had a, you know, the, 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 the uptrend wedge pattern formation was this one. You can see here. Up, down, up, down, up, down, and then a breakout of 308. So my long was at 308. My sell was at 218, 217, 216. So I sold all the way to Jivo. Uh, that was a technical bounce. Uh, I don't know, somebody, John called it in the chat. And then <clears throat> and then I uh, pretty much went, uh, went long on it. And uh, pretty much hit all the way to two, 320, 320. After that, it had a, this pullback where I could have went short, and then uh, pretty much make another 10 cents a share down down here. So Jivo was very much in play. Uh, I traded from here to here. That was my trade in Jivo. Uh, yeah, the AERC. That's the one that I made a little bit. Uh, I made uh, I made a quick trade here. You can see here, ARC had a nice, uh, nice, uh, you know, this is what I was looking at. I was looking at this nice up, down, up, 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 and, uh, you know, a flag, an uptrending wedge, and a flag. So I bought it at 395 and sold it at 420. I made this much amount of money. I bought it at 3,000 shares and sold it real quick at 3,000 shares. So, you know, my position is quite small over here. That was it, and then we had a couple of other losers to RDBX and QNRX. QNRX, QNRX, QNRX. I think I, you know, I I had the right idea. I saw it here in the pre-market when it popped up. I thought nothing of it. You know, it's a thousand shares, five bucks per thousand shares. So I thought nothing, and then I brought. Bought it when it was at VWAP, and it was the first one minute to make a new high. AERC. And then, 
it pretty much went all the way here. I had a really nice gain. I didn't take it on 5,000 share and then came back and sold it for flat. So that was a QNRX. And I, I was not expecting this mumbo jumbo here whatsoever. Uh, AERC pretty much went to the moon. I don't know if I'm going to trade it or not. But I'm a, li a little bit burned out because YMTX is pretty much took uh, took four hours out of my capital. There was nothing moving in this range. You know, I, w I was watching I was watching YRTX for about from eight till about you know ten thirty. So my two hours and a half mental capital was watching YMRX. And then after I stopped watching it, I freed up my mental capital, and I traded Givo and AERC. And then after I saw this death candle of YMTX, um, I pretty much just uh, went short and covered here, 174, 175, no, 176, 177. So another another one is AERC. Just just amazing amazing mover. Uh, you know, saw it over here. I should. I, I did not expect it to to squeeze so much. 350 break here to about 390, and now we're in the fours. So ARC up 70 percent during this intraday rally, and uh, I'm impressed. I should have taken it. Like I say I should have taken it longer, and uh, I didn't. And uh, after that, there was no trade for me. So right now it's about noon. And uh, I'm pretty burned out of uh, YMTX. It just was just uh, my bias was initially short. You know, it, it it flipped on me because you have all time high volume. Float float is rotated a lot. Really good news. You know, it could have it 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 was a coin toss. This was a coin toss. This was a coin toss. Neither. It, it you you had like five out of six indicator that point to bullish, and one out of six that point to bearish. So this was uh, this was usually it should have uh, you know you 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 had you know the volume here was double, so they could have absorbed it. I was not expecting it for this flush here. I was not expecting a flush, but they flushed it, and that's the end of it. You know, you had really good news. You had merger news. You had low float. You have heavily rotated about four times. Uh, you had oh, around VWAP. You have uptrending wedge. And then, I don't know, some algo just hit over here to high and liquidated everybody. So I minimized the loss. 314 long and $2 exit. And then I pretty much just uh, went short at 190, covered 176. So that was the, that was the end of that one. So that was uh, that was it, and uh, this this the this is the day for me. Commissions are really high, CN fees are really high, and borrow fees are really high. So that's the end of my trading journey for today. I have other things I gotta do. I'll probably be watching other things, but it's noon, and I don't wanna. Uh, I don't want to do anything. I'm actually just tired, to tell you the truth. YMTX took a lot of my mental capital out. And uh, if I could have done something better, just sell for 10 cent gains. I bought it at 214, did not sell it for 224. Uh, and then I started averaging in a position, and then I sold everything at 219. And then I got in again at 214, I went short at 206, uh, I went short. It reclaimed. I went long. It didn't end up. It's just, it was a big chop piece overall. I thought it was gonna be, uh, you know, all day fade, and then it flipped on me long, and then I went long and I got dumped on. So it was just one big chaos in my brain, whether or not it was a long and a short. You had multiple indicators that, you know, say that this would have been a long, and uh, it would have went over 250. And uh, and it didn't. So, you know, that was just... I, I trade these, and that's how I trade them. I, uh, it was just not... I was not in the right side of the, the trade. It was definitely not. It was, I didn't trade. It was just choppy. You had multiple indicators. All-time high volume. 
merger news and uh it just it just burned me out i lost twice on it and i'm putting it on a on a do not trade list and i was averaging down all, and uh, that was not a good not a good idea just take 10 cents and move on 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 i stopped trying to do the impossible and try to average down and then pray is going to come back up so you can sell it so Take 10 cents and leave. Take 10 cents and leave. That should be your motto. Take 10 cents and leave. On 3,000 shares, you do that five times, you're up 1,500 bucks. Don't try to do what you wanted to do. Don't try to hit a home run because ARC, you can count these on your fingers. They don't go all from like 225 to 4. Not all of them go like this. We, we're in a sluggish market and things are barely over 40%. That's it. Make sure you give this video a like and tune in tomorrow for a uh, live stream in the morning around 7 or 7.30 or 8. Peace.